today is day 8 of our yatra another beautiful sunny day temperature is around 10 to 12 degrees celsius and very windy as usual we will first visit chu monastery chu monastery is located on northwest side of mansarovar overlooking kailash and mansarovar due to high altitude the track to monastery is fairly strenuous one can also go up via eco pass a sparrow guided lama rimpoche to this location he stayed here and meditated for 7 days his stone footprint can be seen inside the cave even today we are not allowed to visit the cave Rinpoche made a statue of himself which resembles very close to what he looked like over time rocks appeared around the cave and covered the cave the shape of this rocks look like a sparrow so the monastery is called chu monastery chu in tibetan language mean sparrow of yak are seen near all monastery areas around this region yak holds lot of importance in tibetan life yak is used for transportation as helper in farming locals drink yak milk and eat yak meat one yak's meat is generally sufficient to feed family of four for up to one month morning stones are also found around monasteries and kailash mandala morning stones are stones on which sacred mantras are carved all the money stones are stacked here near the monastery flags are commonly tied at all sacred places and also at the places where locals fear danger to their life for example at high passes of mountain it is done in the hope of getting divine protection while traveling through the high passes prayer flags have five different colors each color represent a panch mahabhut prayer mantras are written on this flags a prayer drum 
is a rotating drum with mantra embossed on them. They are found all around the monastery, Buddhist stupas. The belief is when the wind blows over money stones, prayer flags, and when prayer drum is spun, as far as this wind goes, power of the prayers written on them will travel with it. Man Sarovar represents female or wisdom aspect of enlightenment and it symbolizes fortune and fertility in Tibetan Buddhism. Followers of bone and Buddhist religions do Parikrama of Chu Monastery and Mansarovar. It takes about four to five days to do Parikrama of Mansarovar. Parikrama of Mansarovar is considered very beneficial in gaining merits towards the enlightenment. During Chinese goat year, Man Sarovar Parikrama yields 100,000 times more merits than other years. Just like followers of Sanatan Dharma, they also believe that drink from the lake or bathe in the lake can remove sins of entire lifetime. Parikrama of Mansarovar starts from Chu Monastery. Buddhist and Hindu followers do Parikrama in a clockwise manner and bone followers do parikrama in anti-clockwise direction. There are five monasteries around Mansarovar and some basic accommodation around monasteries which are used for night halt for people who do parikrama of Mansarovar. A hot water spring runs at the base of Chu Monastery. We have hiked up to Chu Monastery. You can see the whole monster over. distance one can also see Raksha's Thal. We try to do Parikrama of Chu Monastery. So video is a little shaky, but at one point, the pathway is so narrow and the cliff is so steep that we have to stop recording. Views of Mansarovar and Mount Kailash is absolutely breathtaking from Chu Monastery. We get back into our eco bus and drive off to Darchu, which is about 30 kilometers north of us. More on Darchin and Tarbochi flag 
in next Monday's video. Your love and support in form of watching, liking and sharing my videos is very motivating. Thank you for subscribing and if you have not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. Thank you.